I've been planning to do a review of Recon Medical's bleed kits for a few weeks now. So I started today and then prep for it. I went to the website so I could get the prices that I paid for these two kits and the actual name of the kits down to share with you. Well, it turns out those kits aren't on there anymore on their website. And then I noticed that the tourniquets aren't on there. And I've told you about their tourniquets. They're, they're good tourniquets and a lot less expensive than cats. So I did a little research and evidently about a week ago Recon Medical lost in a lawsuit from another company whose name escapes me now over a trademark infringement. Evidently there was a trademark infringement of their tourniquet. So I reached out to Recon Medical and have not received an answer and I don't know that I will because who the heck am I that they should uh, be responding to me. But evidently, Recon Medical, at least temporarily, has taken their tourniquets off the market. And a tourniquet is a part of each of these kits. So what they seem to have done is revamped these kits on their website, minus the tourniquets, and they've added a, a, like a canvas bag, and they've lowered the price of it. So I'm going to go ahead with the review, and let's hope that they reach some sort of settlement with whoever they've infringed so that they can go back to making a good $16 tourniquet, and, um, and you and I can, can reap the benefits of that. So, these are the two... <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so these are the two kits that you can no longer buy, but I'm going to review them anyway. The only difference in these two kits is this one comes with a chest seal, and this one does not. And they're just really, for the money, really good kits. I want to say they were like $24 and $27 each. And for what you get, that was a great deal. So let's look at what you get. So this is what came in the Recon Medical Bleed Kit. Um, I'm not sure what you call it, just the bleed kit that did not have the chest seal. So you got a tourniquet, you got a rescue blanket, and then some uh, uh, gauze, compressed gauze, and a compression bandage, four inch compression bandage, and a pair of scissors, uh, titanium scissors. You know, that is not bad for 24 bucks, 25 bucks. Very, very happy with that. And I hope that they, uh, they, they reach a settlement soon and are able to start offering this again. But right now, you can get a very similar kit minus the tourniquet. And then I think to make up for it, they, they've added in a, a bag to hold all this for 15 bucks. So that's still pretty darn good. But um, anyway, that, that's, that's their smaller uh, medical kit. Their larger bleed kit was pretty much the same. Uh, recon medical tourniquet, the uh, compressed gauze, the compression bandage, four inch wide, the rescue blanket, the titanium shears, and a chest seal. And I think this cost me around $27, $28. And once again, right now it looks like they're offering this package here plus a canvas bag to carry this in for around 15 bucks, somewhere in there. Um, not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. If you are looking at restocking a bag or building the bag from scratch, it really seems like good stuff, and, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with the value. And uh, once again, I, I hope that they reach some sort of settlement uh, on their copyright infringement and they um, they're able to uh, go back to making tourniquets